Hey, Kyle, congrats, man. I was wondering if you could just start us off and tell us just what it was like out there. A lot of people already saying that's the most fun they've had watching basketball this year. That was up and down, left and right. <laughs> what was your reaction coming off the court there? Man, it was just fun the whole game. Um, you know, both teams were competing super hard. We knew, you know, what kind of game it was going to be coming into it. Um, you know, we've been prepping and, you know, putting in the work for it. So, you know, we were just happy to be out here and we were competing the best we could. So it was a fun game. Was the idea to just, you guys did such a great job on Luca. I mean, holding him to 16 points, was it to just live with whatever else they were going to do in terms of shooting? I mean, yeah, you know, we wanted to, you know, obviously key in and, and we had to play, you know, the best post defense we played all year um, in this game. But, you know, obviously we didn't want to just forget about everyone else. They got a lot of good players. Um, so it was a full team, you know, defensive effort. And, you know, I think a lot of guys stepped up on both both ends of the floor and, uh, you know, it worked and, and paid off. <clears throat> all righty, we'll go next to Jared Smalley, WCMH. Hi, Kyle. The biggest takeaway, I think, from the game just is balance overall. You know, three guys have 16. Um, there were so many scoring threats the way Justin came on at the finish. Do you feel like as the game progressed there, did you feel frustration from Iowa, the fact that they, they just couldn't hone in on a guy? You had so many threats coming at him that he didn't really have a, 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 a way to really shut you down defensively. I don't know about frustration. Just for on our part, we just wanted to, you know, uh, stay poised and, and keep coming every play. Um, for us, you know, is – is staying with it all 40 minutes. Um, you know, there's been games this year where um, in the second half, you know, we haven't uh, completed defensive possessions. Um, we haven't got what we want on the offensive end. So really for us, it's just to, you know, stay poised through the full 40 minutes. And, you know, I think we were able to do that. So that was allowing us to get, you know, the shots we wanted on the offensive end and the stops we needed on the defensive end. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll go next to Adam Jardy, Columbus Dispatch. Kyle. We talked so much in the preseason about your shooting. You hit a really probably the biggest three pointer you've ever hit. Can you take us through that moment and what it felt like to hit that shot? I felt good. Um, you know, I haven't taken a lot of threes. You know, obviously my numbers aren't aren't high there, but um, you know, it's something that I've you know just continued to work on. And you know, I'm trying to do what my team needs for me. So, you know, I was feeling confident. Uh, the shot was feeling good. So I wanted to take it. You know, I was open. And you know, after seeing it going, it felt good. You guys were down 11. Dwayne steps into a couple of threes, something you guys mm -hmm. come running back. What did it take to, in uh, playing on the road against a team that you know can score the way that Iowa can? What did it take to battle back from an 11-point deficit? Um, you know, I'm just going to mention staying poised again. Um, you know, with good teams, um, you know, as good of a team as Iowa is, you know they're going to make runs. And, you know, they're going to be able to, you know, score and, and get stops and stuff like that. So, um, for us, it was just sticking with it, um, you know, not getting discouraged. Um, you know, we always say don't flinch. So that was big for us. And then, you know, D hit those, hit those big threes and, and, you know, got us, got us hyped up and got us right back in the game. So um, just staying poised and, you know, staying connected out there. All righty, we'll go next to Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Kyle, kind of to that point with Dwayne, obviously he's been struggling with his shot the last couple of games here, but those two shots might've been probably the most important shots of the game, given how the game was kind of going there. Can you just... You know, talk about you know, him a little bit and how he's kind of worked through the struggles he's had the last couple of weeks to have a big moment like that. Oh, he's huge for us. You know, we have the utmost confidence in him. Um, you know, I want him shooting all them shots. Um, you know, anytime he's open, um, you know, we have the utmost confidence that he's going to make those shots. So, um, you know, just at that point in the game, it was huge. Like you said, uh, two of the biggest shots in the game got us right back in, got our energy up. Um, so, you know, we know he's going to play well and, um, you know, we, we know what we're going to get from him. So those are huge shots. All righty, we'll go next to Patrick Murphy, 247. Kyle, what was the best thing that you guys did tonight to get the win? Um, you know, just staying tough defensively, I think, was huge. Uh, our post defense, like y'all mentioned, um, trying to limit catches in there. Um, nothing easy. Um, but really, like I said, mentioned, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep mentioning just staying poised through the, the full 40. Um, and another thing I'm always uh, mentioning is, you know, being the tougher, more aggressive team. You know, I think we came out tonight and, you know, we were able to set the rules early. Um, you know, it was a really up and down game. So, um, you know, there was a lot of shots going up. But at the end of the day, it was, you know, whoever could get more stops on the defensive end. So I think that was what we did well. Did this feel like a NCAA tournament type of game? Because it looked like one watching on TV. But did it have that kind of feeling on the court? Uh, yeah, you know, it's tough just because, like, uh, being with no fans, um, 
you're going to get a whole different vibe um, with that. But, um, you know, two, you know, I was such a great team and, um, you know, it was just fun to be out there and compete with them. All righty, we'll go next to Brennan Gulick, Buckeyes now on SI. Hey, Kyle, I want to ask you about the, uh, the the stretch of time where you guys were down 61 to 50 it was fairly early in the second half. And for whatever reason, uh, it kind of just a, a cold stretch offensively. I think you had missed six shots straight as a team and, and for about six minutes there didn't score from the floor. So you're down 11 and then all of a sudden you, you blink and you're up 63, 62. And it, it just felt like something changed there. What did you feel during that stretch where things flipped? You know, just our energy, uh, you know, I think there, at, at one point there, um, I wouldn't say we started to slip off, but, um, you know, we noticed we weren't, you know, we weren't getting the shots we wanted, you know, we weren't staying with it. Um, we weren't playing tough enough on the defensive end. Um, and, you know, it took, you know, a couple of big shots, you know, like by the Wayne and a couple other defensive stops just to, just to get our energy back. So um, I think it was just, you know, our energy level, um, our intensity. Um, that we started to lack there a little bit, but, you know, we got it right back, uh, s stuck with it, and, you know, it helped towards the end of the game. And, and Coach Holtman told us yesterday that he thinks this Iowa team is probably the best offensive team he's ever coached against, I and mean, that was awfully high praise. And at the beginning mm -hmm. of the game, defensively, I think you guys struggled a little bit to, to get rebounds after some shots, but, boy, it felt like things really kind of shifted in the second half. And I, I just want your your take on on – like how good it feels to win a game when, when as a coaching staff, they're looking at this saying, hey, there's really never been a higher bar we've been up against here offensively. Oh, I mean, it feels great. Uh, you know, the coaches have done a good job, um, you know, getting us ready for games like this. And, you know, we always say it's just take it one day, one day at a time, one game at a time. Um, so obviously, you know, we were focused on this game. And, you know, Iowa, like you said, is like coach said, he thinks, you know, they're the best offensive, off offensive scoring team in the country. So, um, you know, just winning a game like this is is always good. Like I always say, a win's a win. So um, no matter what win you can get, it's going to feel good.